Hello and welcome back to Disabled and Prepping. Today I'm going to show you how to make kombucha. So I don't know if you can see through here, but here's my uh, scoby from several b brews ago. So each time you make kombucha, you get another, end up with another scoby on top of the liquid that forms, and that's a uh, living um, culture, which produces the probiotics and prebiotics and all that good stuff that's in here. So, and then there's some starter liquid in there. So that's also what you see in there. See if I get you a little bit closer. I know the pattern on the glass isn't so good. Um, but there's my SCOBY. It's folded up in there because it was a pretty big one um, from another jar. And then the starter liquid. And then I have the tea and the chapstick to stir it with. So I have to, you want to cover it. You don't want to cover it with cheesecloth. Cheesecloth um, will let the gnats go in there, and gnats love kombucha. So you want to use a coffee filter or a cotton, uh, tight wove cotton towel or sheet, um, more likely like uh, flour sack towels, things like that. So anyways, there's I took the lid off. I'm going to put my chopstick over here. Here's the tea that I brewed. It was black tea. And you just pour it in there until you fill what you want. Um, it, oh, the tea's also got a cup of sugar per gallon. So like I said, I, I brewed two gallons already because my other one holds several gallons. So there's the tea. And because it's strong, I can add some water to it. Sorry, I'm having trouble with my water. There we go. And we can add some cooler water to it because um, it was kind of warm. So I try to get mine up to the top pretty much the top of the, the flowering or maybe a little bit higher but not past the rounded part of the jar um, just because it gives the, the scoby quite a larger area to produce and that is how I brew kombucha. Um, the stick was just to make sure that everything got mixed. Um, the kombucha, uh, the scoby that's there right there doesn't matter if it floats right now or not um, because the new one will form on top as soon as it starts um, brewing. And in my apartment, it can go anywhere from a few days, depending on how warm it is. Um, take several days. Uh, if I continue to brew, so a lot of times it's like done in three days because there's so much other older kombucha in here normally. Um, but seeing that I haven't been drinking it for a couple of months, I just uh, took a couple of cups of starter liquid per container that I use and made, started a whole new batch. Um, so uh, it's not uncommon to see brown pieces towards the bottom because that's the yeast that's formed. Um, totally still help, uh, good. It's okay to drink it. It's not going to hurt you. Um, but there will, on top here, it will form a white or a tan uh, new scoby. So that is how you make kombucha. It's very easy. Um, you can either get a uh, scoby like I did with a couple starter liquids, or you can get the kombucha they sell at the store, and um, you can do it that way too, but that's a little bit different process. And I'm not uh, exactly sure how to do it right now. I did remember before, but I don't remember it now, so I'm not going to tell you because I don't want it to be wrong. So that's how I, how you better cover it up, but that's how you make kombucha. And in um, three days, I'll start tasting just a little bit of it. Oh, this one does have a tapper, um, you know, like the sun teeth things like this, but it doesn't work. So I just stick straw in there each time and um, give it a little taste to see 
if it's, uh, you know, dip a straw in, hold it, and then taste it that way so you're not drinking from it. Um, and see if it's at the right sweetness or um, to the flavor I like. And if not, just let it brew a little bit longer and try it again. All right. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye for now.